An estimated 2.3 million people in the UK owned cryptocurrency by 2021. But only 71% of UK adults who are aware of crypto understand what it is. So what exactly is cryptocurrency and how does it work? This is Decomplicated. How did cryptocurrency come about? On the 31st of October 2008, recipients of an obscure mailing list for people interested in cryptography received a message signed by Satoshi Nakamoto, a person of unconfirmed identity. I've been working on a new electronic cash system, Nakamoto wrote. It allows online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without the burdens of going through a financial institution. Attached to the email was a paper describing what would soon become the first ever cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. The one thing that is essential to Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies is the blockchain. What is the blockchain? It's a system that works as an online ledger and is used for recording the creation and transactions of crypto assets, like cryptocurrency and NFTs. The database is constructed using a web of data blocks that are chained together in chronological order, with new transactions being added to a block, then attached to the previous one. The ledger is accessible and maintained by a network of computers, or nodes, that are linked in a peer-to-peer -peer network. This means the system is decentralized, requiring no banks, governments, or other third parties in order to operate. This allows users to send, receive, and store the digital currency without any need for an intermediary, thus making it easier to track and much more efficient than traditional currency. Data cannot be modified once it enters the blockchain, which makes fraud and piracy much more difficult within the system. Where is Bitcoin accepted? Within just over a decade of the system going live, Bitcoin grew from a fringe technology popular only with cryptographers to the world's ninth most valuable asset by market cap as of March 2022. Its dramatic ascent has created millionaires, transformed traditional finance and inspired over 18,000 more rival cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Litecoin that together make up a multi-trillion dollar industry. Some of the world's biggest companies accept cryptocurrencies as payment, including Tesla and Microsoft, while payment platforms like PayPal, MasterCard and Visa also support them. And in 2021, El Salvador became the first country in the world to officially adopt Bitcoin as a legal form of tender. What are the challenges facing cryptocurrency? Bitcoin remains the most well-known cryptocurrency, though its popularity has bloated its network to the point that the electricity it requires to run is now equivalent to that of Argentina. It can also suffer from price volatility, making it sometimes unsuitable for use as an everyday currency. Another issue is that there are currently no uniform international laws regulating the market, which opens up consumers to the risk of losing their investment without recourse. However, the UK Financial Conduct Authority is looking to tighten rules around adverts which promote high-risk crypto investments, and a crypto asset task force was launched by the government in 2018. Other cryptocurrencies have addressed individual concerns. Stable coins, which are cryptocurrencies that are pegged to traditional currencies like the US dollar, were created in an attempt to solve the volatility issue and digital tokens that don't require much electricity to create have been introduced in an effort to address energy usage problems. Cryptocurrency is still in early stages of development, but a clear interest from governments, institutions and consumers is resulting in a gradual integration between the financial systems we're used to dealing with and this new tech. Whatever the future holds, Nakamoto's vision to upend the traditional financial system appears to already be well on its way.